What's up guys? Uh, we're here today to talk to you about a different kind of squat. Um, the squat that I'm not sure if anyone has in this town. Uh, it's called the belt squat. And this is the machine right here. Uh, this is uh, something I just put together not too long ago. Um, the belt squat is actually, it's built so the, the weight is actually around the waist and it's not sitting on the back to where you would have, if you had upper back problems or your back was weak and it wasn't strong enough to hold the weight and you're, let's say you're dropping your back on a, a squat where you kind of go down like so. Instead of bending your hip, bringing your hips down and bending it and flexing at the knees, you kind of bring that back down. Um, this will help prevent that. Um, you can actually, you could actually squat in any at any angle uh, that you want to with this machine, and it'll hold you up. It'll hold the hips down. It actually provides an assistance to bring you past that 90 degrees. So, I'm um, go ahead and show you how this works. Uh, it's a really simple machine. Looks very complex, uh, but. It's almost like crawling into that, uh, that machine that Sigourney Weaver crawled into for the movie Alien. So, goes around the waist like so. And just basically the ton rack. You know, your rack's basically in front and it falls forward and you have something to hold on to, which kind of helps you keep the chest forward. A lot of people drop that down uh, when they're not uh, going past that 90 and they're not flexing at the knees. So this one kind of helps you do so. I could lean back the whole time and I can't fall backwards. See? I can get all the way back here in the hands and glutes or up in the squat and squat. You see people using these online. They have 45s on 45s on the sides. Really not even necessary. This, this has a ton of resistance already, especially for my leg with a hole in it. You can see that over here, a little hole. Not, not anymore. It's, it's healed. But. So what, what would you say that equates to like a standard barbell squat? What's it feel like to you? Um, this... Might feel like 135, 185. Okay. Uh, there's there's a little bit of resistance. I think the machine weighs a little bit more than 50 pounds than you know the normal 45 pound bar or the 50 pound resistance on the, the leg press. I can basically put feet position anywhere, and you can squat any way you want. Hitting course the more the outside. Look at that, it's nice, isn't it? Didn't really lose too much size. A little bit of size. But you know how it is. Yeah. But basically, this machine's awesome. I mean, it kind of, a couple people have used it already. They say it puts more, puts you more in a position of doing the squat more proper. Uh, you get more leg workout. They had more soreness going on. So more concentrated, uh, definitely a good builder. So for somebody with back problems, this would be a, uh, It'd be good. a great machine to use, right? Oh yeah. So I don't even have to hold on to that. Quads. People are worried about falling Quad down. Right there. But no, don't fall. And your racket, all done. I just took it off, you're supposed to like, yeah, you're supposed to unhook it, but yeah. But yeah, it's, it's a really good machine. Um, I've been using it today for my leg workout. Obviously I'm doing legs again, not too much weight, but really good. pretty good though. I mean, they're building up, yeah. Not too, not too bad. They'll get yep. bigger, they'll get bigger. Yeah. But yep, that's the belt squat. Um, might be the only one in town, unless I think Strength Guild might have one, but uh, if you're interested in, in trying this kind of machine, just hit me up. I get a, a, a workout session in where you can work out with me, or we can try for a free intro, or you can start working out with me.